Salam alaikum. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's recipe is from Mali and it is called Chuo Toru. Today's video is going to be different because I hope to share with you the thoughts, emotions, and lessons that came up as I created this meal. And I specifically selected this meal to create because, well, I love beans and I love spaghetti. So I hope you are able to follow the video directions and as you'll see the recipe is as easy as one, two, three. And what I want to share with you as I created this meal and I ate it, there were things that came up, helpful lessons, helpful things. And that's what I want to speak about. First off, I wish to share with you that I created this channel so that I may learn about the place that I am from. I want to learn about the many countries within Africa. And I figured what best way to learn that through food. But anyways, about the meal, the Malian specialty dish, Chuo Toru. I realized that this meal is not only simple to create, but it also was too simple that it made me very conscious. Conscious in the fact that I have many spices in my kitchen and I'm so accustomed to the flavors and I've been enjoying the different aromas and you know, the luxury and privilege that comes with being an American. And when I started to create this meal, I noticed after my research, I noticed that the spices differ in the different parts of Mali. People don't indulge in the many luxury spices there are. The ingredients are quite simple. So when I tasted this meal, I was hesitant. I was also um, not sure that I wanted to record it because for me, it was just like, it's kind of too plain. And that is the beauty. So as I season it with the salt and pepper and a little bit of thyme, because yeah, that is one of the spices Malians um, will dress their meal with. I didn't add paprika because I just wanted to keep it, keep it in the simple fashion as if when I'm visiting that part of the world in that local town or village, when the nearby restaurant or street vendor serve me this dish, they will serve it to me based on the ingredients that they have. And that might just be salt and pepper and whatever, um, local spice that area has and as the sweet smell of the onion came up i realized that i didn't need any spice I, I didn't need to add anything it was just just right many africans in the various regions towns and villages people tend to eat foods based on what is available to them and i should know better since i was born there but i forgot I forgot and this meal this dish reminded me I wanted to rush to add other things just because I have it but then I, re I, I reminded myself I said hey wait a minute the reason why you're doing this is so that you can enjoy the journey of discovering foods and learning about other people and places in their simple fashion without having to change it when I finish cooking it, I cook my spaghetti and then I pour the stewed beans with um, onion in hot oil. As I poured over the spaghetti and tasted it, I allow myself to enjoy the flavors and reminded myself that I am very blessed and privilege to be able to choose the lifestyle of a vegetarian plant-based person. 
and it was quite delicious. That's just the thing. The stewed beans gives the dish a creaminess, and the、um, onion in hot oil gives the dish a very fragrant flavor. And thanks to the bean curd, there is a certain texture, and of course, you know, it adds protein. <laughs> But the textures and flavors were there. I just needed a reminder that salt and pepper does create something delicious. It does create tasty. One don't need to add cumin, coriander, and the many other spices there are. One does not need to add those many things because in other parts of Africa, people eat what is available to them. So that is the lesson that I learned with this dish, and I just wanted to share that with you. It helped it helped me remember why I created this channel and why I am choosing to explore the many places in Africa. Cho Toru was delicious and filling, and I definitely will be trying this again. Yeah, for sure. After all, who can beat simple ingredients that create a tasty, nourishing meal that helps one live another day? Who can resist that? I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.